Hello and welcome to Murray State University. We are very excited that you are here and we made this short video just to help you get started with registration and some other little things that, that might be helpful to you as you begin your journey as a racer. Let's start with the website. If you go to murraystate.edu, you will see this website. What you want to do is under quick links, there are three main links here that you will be using a lot at Murray State. MyGate, Racer Mail, which is your email, and Canvas. Let's start with MyGate. When you click on MyGate, it's going to ask you to log in with your Murray State username. This is your email address minus the at murraystate.edu. So generally it's your first initial, your last name, and maybe a number. I've got a rare last name, so I don't have a number after mine. It wants you to enter that and your password. Once you log into MyGate, you will see this. We'll talk about this in a minute. What happens is, is whenever you hit send me a push, it depends on how you have it set up, but it actually sends a link to your cell phone to be able to log into MyGate. It's a safety measure. All right, so this is your MyGate. This is where you're gonna register for classes, but this is where your financial aid information is and different things like that. So when we get started, let's look at these two things here. This is your two-factor authentication that you saw at the very beginning. It, it'll send a link to your cell phone to get you signed in. You need to do that first. Now, the next thing that you need to do is consolidate credentials. I always encourage students to do this first thing. What this does is it allows you to use the same password for all these different areas. So your MyGate password and Canvas, your network. So when you're on campus and you want to log into a student network account, you can use the same password. And then finally, your email, your racer mail. So go ahead and take a moment consolidate passwords, you can actually use the same password that you just logged into MyGate with. Now, after you consolidate your credentials, we're going to go under academics. So I'm going to show you how to register for a class. Under academics, it should tell you your um, what your major is, and you're going to scroll down till you get to this registration tools to the right here. Now in this registration tools, if you look down here, we're going to click on add or drop individual classes. So click on that. You will probably see something different your first time through. And once you validate everything, have all your information in there, you'll get to this screen here. And it's going to ask you to select a term. You just select that term and hit submit. And then it brings you to this page. Now I want to bring something to your attention is these tables here. If you know CRN stands for uh, course registration number, and so if you already know your CRN for your course, you can just manually enter that in into these tables. Now at this point, you're probably not gonna know what your CRNs are, but I wanna bring this to your attention because sometimes you register for a class that's closed and you get special permission to register for that class well, this is the only way to register for classes like that. Let's do a class search. So let's say that we're searching for EMT classes, electromechanical, and we do course search. It brings up all the courses that are offered in the fall of 2020. So we'll go to Electrical Systems 2. This tells us, this gives us a lot of information here. So the first part is the CRN. This is what I was telling you about earlier. This is the number that if you want to write this down, you can manually enter 82778 into that table and hit submit changes and register for this class. But at this point, if you want to register, you just select it and then register and it'll register you automatically. Now, let's talk about what we're seeing here. And so we've got the subject course EMT 210 the section, which generally in your core classes, you're only going to have one, maybe two sections at the most. Your, your credits, so this is a four hour class. The title of your class, which is Electrical Systems 2, and then when the class meets, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8.30 to 1010. Now this is important. What I suggest that you do is write this down because whenever you're scheduling other classes, you need to make sure that the class doesn't overlap with this schedule. 
Then it tells us how many students we can have in the class. And so we can have 18 students and currently seven students registered. And so there's 11 seats remaining. And then you go over here, it tells you when the class meets, it tells you the teacher, and then it also tells you the location, IT244. Okay, so this is all good information. Once you register for this, you'll be able to go in and print this schedule if you want to. All right, so if I was gonna register, I would click this, hit register. Now, for some reason, you do not meet the prerequisites, it'll tell you that. It'll give you an error message, and it'll tell you the reason why that you can't uh, enroll into that class. It's very important, and I suggest you take a screenshot of this and actually email your advisor and let them know why you couldn't get into a certain class. So let's look at a possibly a closed section. Let's see if we can find a, a class that's closed here. World Civ classes will have special sections that are closed. Here we go, there's a bunch here. So this, you see here, if you were trying to get into World Civ, that C means it's closed. And if you look over here, capacity's 25, and they actually have 25 into the class, remaining zero. Okay, so that class is closed. So what you have to do is you have to scroll through here, and all these sections are closed. So Civ 201 is already taken. So sometimes you can take Civ 201 or 202, and so you would have to come in here and choose a 202. You see all the sections, but this one right here is open in Civ 202. And so that shows you what it looks like with a closed section. All right, and so once you go through this, again, you're gonna have a schedule and you'll be able to look at that schedule. It'll show up here, it'll show the classes that you're enrolled in. If you go back to academics, you scroll up here to registration, but you can view and print your schedule here and this will show you your entire schedule. You'll be able to print that off and it'll show you where the rooms are, the room numbers, and your total credit hours. So if you have any questions, be sure and ask your advisor at this point. Let's go back a second to our website. want to show you a couple more links. So whenever we come back here to our main section here, if we go to racer mail, it's actually Gmail. Okay, so you can actually just go in and log in and have in their Gmail if you want to. I'm not gonna do that right now, but it's very important for you to check your email all the time. Okay, and one thing that I tell all my students is everybody has a cell phone, connect your cell phone email to your racer mail. That's very important. That way you don't miss any important messages from your professors. Now last we'll look at Canvas. This again, this is where all of your classes are going to be. And there's a bunch of information right now because of the coronavirus. But if you scroll down here, this shows all your classes. This is where all of your information for your online classes takes place. But it's not only information for your online classes. A lot of professors use Canvas for their syllabus and for some assignments. So again, Canvas is where you're gonna have all the information for your classes. All right, so that concludes the video for introduction. Again, welcome to Murray State. If you have any questions, please contact your advisor.